Hello, and welcome to Read Us a Story. What shall we read today? How about Peppa Pig? Peppa's Scooter Fun. Peppa is getting ready to go to playgroup. Today, Madame Gazelle has asked everyone to travel to class in their favourite way. Can George and I scooter to playgroup? Peppa asks excitedly. Please! Ho oh, ho, oh, of course, Peppa, says Daddy Pig. Scout, scout, says George. Mummy and Daddy Pig have decided to use their scooters too. Ho oh, ho, oh, this is really good fun! Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, says Daddy Pig. Remember to look out for things around you, like these ducks, says Mummy Pig. Everyone will love our scooters, George, says Peppa. Even Mummy and Daddy think they're amazing! Wee! Zoom! At playgroup, everyone shows Madame Gazelle their favourite ways to travel. I love my roller skates, says Molly Mole, zipping around. My chair is really speedy, says Mandy Mouse. Ruff. My bicycle has a bell, says Danny Dog. Ding, ding, squeak, look, says Rebecca Rabbit. I have a new skateboard. Suddenly, there is a loud noise. Nina, Nina, Nina! It's Peggy and Pandora Panda. Their daddy has driven them to playgroup in his police car. Oh, what a wonderful siren, <laughs> says Madame Gazelle. It's very loud, says Pandora. The car has a light too, says Peggy. Nina, Nina, Nina! Would you like to stay for our lesson? Madame Gazelle asks Police Officer Panda. We are learning about the different ways we all like to travel. Police Officer Panda sets up some traffic cones. Let's see how safely you all get around. The children all love showing off how they can move safely between the cones. It is a lot of fun. Remember to always pay attention, says Police Officer Panda. Don't go too fast, and if you are scootering, biking or skating, then always wear your helmet. Ruff, my helmet has flames on it says Danny proudly. It's the best. Mine's the best, says Zoe Zebra. It has spots like a ladybird. Grrr, dinosaur! Grrr, says George, pointing to his helmet. Oh dear, nobody can agree on whose helmet is best. Children, says Madame Gazelle, you all have wonderful helmets, and you all have wonderful ways of getting around. But whose is best? asks Zoe. Madame Gazelle tells the children that the best helmet and the way of travelling is the one they each like most. Peppa raises her hand. I like my scooter best, she says. I'm really good at scootering. Watch! Peppa scoots, whoosh, 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 and whooshes, whoosh, 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 and zooms, zoom, zoom, zoom. zoom. Police Officer Panda thinks Peppa's scooter looks like fun. He gives it a go. My police car might have a siren, he says, but Peppa's scooter is best for me. Whee! The children cheer and join in. Peppa loves scooters. Everyone loves scooters. And that was Peppa Pig, Peppa's scooter fun. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, be sure and like the video. And remember, you can always subscribe to the channel at Read Us A Story. Thanks. Bye. Hello and welcome to Read Us A Story. What shall we read today? How about Peppa Pig? What's at the zoo, Peppa? A touch and feel playbook.
Mr Lion is showing Peppa, George and Grandpa Pig around the zoo. Grandpa Pig has bought his new camera to take photos of the best things in the zoo. Are tortoise is the best thing in the zoo? asks Peppa. I don't know, says Grandpa Pig, taking a photo. The tortoise have very bumpy shells. He looks just like Tiddles. The key to a good photograph, says Grandpa Pig, is to include lots of pretty colours. These colours are beautiful, Grandpa, says Peppa. But are these the best thing in the zoo? asks Peppa. I don't know, Peppa, says Grandpa Pig, taking a photo. Click. The shimmery butterflies flutter around. Flutter, flutter. Flutter, flutter. Next, Mr. Lion takes Peppa, George and Grandpa Pig to a giant jungle greenhouse. Are these trees the best thing? says Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Silly Grandpa, says Peppa. Look in the trees. Grandpa Pig looks up and spots a cheeky monkey. <coughs> the soft monkey swings high in the trees. Peppa, George and Grandpa Pig follow Mr Lion to the penguin enclosure. Penguins are the best swimmers in the zoo, says Peppa. Grandpa Pig takes lots of amazing pictures. Click. The penguins have squishy tummies. Oh, and he's got a lovely yummy fish. Ooh. Grandpa Pig has time to take one last picture. Mr. Lion roars, Cheers! Ah! says Grandpa Pig, a little surprised. Click. <laughs> Brilliant! says Peppa. We save the best for last. Peppa is right. Mr. Lion is the best thing in the zoo. And now Grandpa Pig has the photo to prove it. Mr. Lion has a fluffy mane. Ooh, fluffy. And that was Peppa Pig. What's at the zoo, Peppa? I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, be sure and like the video. And remember, you can always subscribe to the channel at Read Us A Story. Thanks. Bye! Hello and welcome to Read Us A Story. What shall we read today? How about Peppa Pig? Peppa's Sandpit. Peppa and her friends are playing in the sandpit. The sandpit is our desert island, decides Peppa. We will live here forever. Oh, if we're going to live here forever, I want it to be nice, says Susie Sheep. The desert island just needs some houses, says Peppa. Ruff and roads, Wee. and shops, says Susie Sheep. Dinosaur, shout George and Richard. Yes, snorts Peppa. The desert island can have dinosaurs too. Emily Elephant looks at the desert island. She thinks that it needs tree. Where are we going to get trees from? Asks Susie. Danny Dog has an idea. Ruff, we have to drive big trucks around the world and look for trees. The dinosaurs guard the desert island while the others go to find some trees. Ruff, hello, Mummy Rabbit, 
says Danny. Have you got any spare trees? Mummy Rabbit picks up some sticks. There you go. Peppa and her friends drive their trucks back around the world. They plant the trees. There, says Peppa. We will live here forever. Candy Cat and Zoe Zebra come to see the desert island. It would be really good if we had a lake, says Candy. Danny digs a lake. Now it needs some water. The children pretend to fly around the world looking for water. Pedro Pony is playing on the roundabout. I know where there is pretend snow, he says. We can melt it to get pretend water. This is a pretend mountain, shouts Pedro. Pedro climbs to the top of the mountain, but there is no snow up there. It has melted in the sun. Can we pretend that it hasn't melted, says Susie. No, mm, nays Pedro. It is melted good and proper. Candy spots Daddy Pig. He is drinking from the water fountain. Can we have some water in our bucket, please? Asks Peppa. Ho, oh, oh. ho, snorts Daddy Pig. Of course! The children fly back to the desert island. Peppa fills up the lake. <laughs> We've got water! <laughs> Giggles Peppa. Freddy Fox arrives. The desert island is nearly ready. Oh, if only it had some flags, sighs Zoe. Mr Fox takes a look in his van. He's got everything in his van. How about these? He grins. Now the desert island is perfect. It has trees, roads, shops, dinosaurs, flags and a real lake. We can live here Forever and ever! Cheers, Peppa. And that was Peppa Pig. Peppa's Sand Pit. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, be sure and like the video. And remember, you can always subscribe to the channel and read us a story. Thanks. Bye! Hello, and welcome to Read Us a Story. What shall we read today? How about. Peppa Pig, Peppa's magical Halloween. Peppa's magical Halloween. It was Halloween and Peppa and George were dressed up in costumes, ready to go to Magical Halloween Playgroup. I'm a magical witch, Daddy said Peppa, and George is a magical, uh... What are you, George? Monster! Grrr! said George. Amazing! said Daddy Pig, and very magical. Daddy Pig went to open the front door. Wait, Daddy! cried Peppa. I can use magic to open the door. She pointed at the door and shouted, Open! But the door didn't open. Oh, said Peppa, sighing. Oh, I'm not magical. I'm sure you are, Peppa, said Daddy Pig. Maybe Magical Halloween Playgroup will help. Yes, cried Peppa. Peppa and George were very excited when they arrived at Magical Halloween Playgroup. Everyone was dressed in their Halloween costumes. Even Madame Gazelle. A happy Halloween, children, cried Madame Gazelle, smiling. And welcome! Halloween was Madame Gazelle's favourite day of the year. Happy Halloween, Madame Gazelle! Everyone cheered. The children sat down and Madame Gazelle told them all about the magical activities they were going to do. 
We will learn to fly on broomsticks, decorate magic wands, eat a Halloween feast, and then... Madame Gazelle paused. We will all cast a special magic spell together! Hooray! Everyone cheered. Magical Halloween playgroup sounded brilliant! First, Madame Gazelle helped the children get their broomsticks ready for their flying lesson. Pepperette decorated hers with flowers and rainbow ribbons. She even made a little seat for Teddy. It's so pretty, said Peppa. Ready to fly, Teddy? <laughs> Next, Madame Gazelle asked the children to grab their broomsticks and line up to go outside. Hold on tight as we zoom on our broom! <laughs> she called, leading them on their flight. Peppa and her friends zoomed along, pretending to fly on their broomsticks. Watch out for the bats! <gasps> now, duck under the branch! cried Madame Gazelle. Ooh, it's a bit bumpy here. Let's slow down and wave to Mrs. Owl. Wee! I love flying! shouted Peppa. It's so magical. I love it too, shouted Molly Mole. Then Madame Gazelle brought the craft table outside so the children could make magic wands. Ooh! they cried. Madame Gazelle told everyone to pick a wand to decorate from the special box. Don't forget to sprinkle on some fairy dust, children, she said. We'll need it for our magic spell later on. Once everyone had finished making their magic wands, it was time for the Halloween feast. There were bottles of colour-changing drinks, pretend potions in cauldrons, wobbly jelly bats, toffee apples, pumpkin cupcakes and... Mmm, lots of witch hat shaped sandwiches. Delicious, said Mandy Mouse, tucking into a jelly bat. Mmm, everything tastes yummy and magical, cried Peppa. <laughs> when the feast was over, Madame Gazelle asked Peppa and her friends to form a circle, holding their magic wands. Now, children, she began, we have come to the most important activity of the day, casting a magic spell together. Hooray! Everyone cheered. To do this, we all need to take part. Otherwise, this spell won't work, said Madame Gazelle. First, the children needed to collect all the ingredients for the spell. Gerald Giraffe found a bag of adventure. Mandy Mouse found a bottle of kindness. Richard Rabbit found a pinch of politeness. George found a jar of giggles, and Peppa found a sprinkle of fun. Everyone added their magical ingredient to the big pot. Madame Gazelle stirred all the ingredients together. Wonderful, she said. Now, does anyone know some magic words? Peppa put up her hand. Please! That's an excellent magic word, Peppa, said Madame Gazelle. We must include that. Any others? The children shouted out lots of fantastic magical words. Abracadabra! Wobbly bobbly! Swishity swash! Madame Gazelle, said Peppa, how does the spell work? There is a little bit of magic in every one of us, 
exclaimed Madame Gazelle. Now repeat the words after me and then wave your hands. Abracadabra, swishity swish, wobbly bobbly, please. Abracadabra, swishity swish, wobbly bobbly, please. Rainbow smoke filled the air, and when it cleared, the children saw their parents. They had appeared as if from nowhere. Wow! the children cried. So magical! You see, we're all magical, said Madame Gazelle. Yes! cheered the children. Everyone said thank you to Madame Gazelle and then went home happily with their magical wands and broomsticks. When Peppa and George got to their front door, Daddy Pig wanted to test out his magic. He asked Peppa if he could borrow her wand. Then he pointed at the front door and said, Open! But nothing happened. Let me try, said Peppa. She held her hand wand up and tapped it on the door. Then she said, Open, please. And the door opened. <coughs> Mummy Pig was waiting inside. Don't worry, Daddy, said Peppa. There is a little bit of magic in all of us. Maybe yours just, uh, doesn't open doors. I think Daddy Pig just forgot to say the magic word, said Mummy Pig. Peppa and George giggled. <laughs> Everyone loves magical Halloween playgroup. Peppa loves magical Halloween playgroup. And that was... Peppa's Magical Halloween. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, be sure and like the video. And remember, you can always subscribe to the channel at Read Us A Story. Thanks. Bye!